We are once again at that one of a kind place. As you can see behind me, skyline's as far as the eye can see, but we're not gonna be going around this location. Trust Kikaku contacted me after the video and told me that they have a few more secret other warehouses that we're gonna go check out with some really good condition skylines as well. Hannah-chan got a haircut and doesn't it look awesome? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to Trust Kikaku. Also, she's single, guys. No. Um, and this is Mikun. He is the owner and the CEO of Trust Kikaku and owns all of these cars, which is just insane. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to be going to uh, the first warehouse where he's going to be showing me some of these really nice condition cars in his personal GTR, which is none other than this beautiful black R34 GTR on BBS wheels. So uh, we're going to get a look on the inside of this, maybe pop the engine bay later on, but it is very clean and in good factory condition. Loving the little carbon fiber hood there. Well, it's not actually hood, it's a little vent, sorry. I get my words mixed up a lot because bilingual, learning two languages, I, I oh, he's got kind of some semi-slicks on the rear too. This thing's gonna be grippy. All right, I'm distracted. But, like I said, we're at Trust Kikaku. Skyline's as far as the eye can see. We're gonna go check out some rare cars and some rare parts. And uh, have a good day, right, Hannah? Yeah. Hell yeah, all right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, this GTR is so clean. I've been in a few 34 GTRs, but I don't think I've ever been in one where the interior is so clean like this. This is amazing. I love that he's also got an aftermarket dash. All right, let's go. One of the many things that I love about where Trust Kikaku is located is it's in Scuba. And uh, it's just farmland and countryside everywhere, which is so beautiful. And I just love being able to take that in because it's such a change of pace from, you know, Tokyo and Yokohama and the city environment in Japan and everything cram packed together. <laughs> um, sorry, we're in a 34 GTR. One does not drive a 34 GTR without enjoying it. Are you right, Hannah? No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Me Mikun's a boss man. <laughs> in there. Um, so like I was saying, it's good to get out of the city and just see some space and things spread out in Japan every now and then. Oh man, that was epic. So we've just arrived now at this undisclosed location, which is another warehouse. It's about 10 minutes from the main Trust Kikaku warehouse. And as you can already see, got some R32 GTR uh, shells and bodies and things like that. Most of these shells are, uh, have got a fair bit of damage and rust and stuff on them. But obviously there are still some good parts on here, like some rear quarter panels and strut things and stuff. So I was talking to uh, Mikun before and he was saying that if you guys do want any of these shells or you want like uh, a no rush shell, they can get that for you and ship it to you. Um, obviously shipping containers and stuff like that. But there's obviously a lot more R34s here, like the GTTs, the ER34s and stuff like that, four doors and two doors. Um, but from what I think you guys were saying was that there's some really nice looking ones in this building, right? Uh, the really great condition Great ones condition ones. That we keep secret. You keep secret. <laughs> okay. Well, we might be in trouble then. I'm glad I left the credit card at home. Um, so let's go inside this building and have a look because from what these guys have been telling me, it's 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 a sight to be seen. So if you guys thought that everything we've seen before was great, I think what's in here is gonna be better. Oh my gosh. I think we just hit the jackpot, guys. There's a Y1 and it's two door. That's a GTT. All right. We need to we need to walk around. I I have no words right now. This looks so cool. And everything's protected in plastic. 33 GTST 25T and this is a four door. That's cool. Same Nismo Aero wing that I had on my white 34 in Australia and it's black. On the base side, blue GTTs. Eh? Eh, price this car? Price. So many as we? Hontoni? Guys, this is seven grand USD for a blue, base side blue GTT turbo this car. Turbo Jonai. Turbo Jonai? Ah, that's why so many as we. Okay, so this is so cheap. So this is seven grand and this is non turbo. Ah, turbo. Ah, kuro no. This black one here has to be a turbo because it has the aero for one. Yeah, so this is a turbo one. It's got the turbo brakes. Here, Kujuman. This one there. This is $9,000. 
These prices are real. Wait. This is another non turbo for Sanju Goma. This is $3,500 US. And this one's Nijuma. That's two grand for an R34. Four door. Non turbo, automatic, probably. Um, that is epic. Can people here, um, so can people like in the States buy a car and then pay you guys to store it and look after them till they can import it? Yeah, we can look after and storage their car until they can uh, import. That's awesome. So if any of you guys want this R34 and you got a spare two grand and want to pay some storage fees, these guys will store it for you here. You can come and fly over and look at it as much as you want for the next five years. But th that is so cool. There's a $2,000 four-door R34 here. I mean, it doesn't matter because whoever buys this will probably turn it into a drift car or something. Two grand for a 34 four-door. That is amazing. There is no dealership anywhere I know in Japan that's even selling like a four-door non-turbo automatic Skyline for that price. They want like six grand for them. That is epic. It's like an active red kind of four-door 34 here. Okay, I'm freaking out. I'm a kid in a candy store again. As you guys know, this is the second time I'm hanging out with the guys at Trust Kikaku. And last time we didn't get to see this warehouse. But I thought that like, you know, maybe this time it wouldn't be so amazing. You know what I mean? Because last time there's a lot to live up to. You know what I mean? But so far, this is, wait, this 33 Series 2 is only two and a half grand as well. You guys are crazy. This is, I... <laughs> I would not sell these this cheap, <laughs> but that's great for you guys. And there's another, there's a Zenki 33 Skyline there for five and a half grand. Okay, I don't know what I was about to say, but I still keep getting blown away with the stuff that they have. This is absolutely incredible. And I hope you guys like, wow. I really hope you guys get, get the hook up with these guys because they are the only people I know here in Japan that have this kind of stock level that aren't charging through the roof. And they'll let you store the car for you. Like that is an epic service. Anyways, I'm gonna keep shuffling through all these cars. They're so tightly packed together. It's ridiculous. Um, and see what else we can find. There's a nice white GTT here. Kinda, kinda wishing I could get a white 34 GTT. That would be amazing, right? If I could recreate the car that I had in Australia, but here in Japan, that'd be goals for me. Anyways, uh, let me take a quick look at these cars. So I've just been looking at all of these here. Now, some of these are non-turbos and automatics and things like that. I don't know all the details, but if you're interested, just hit up Hannah at Trust Kikaku. Um, this one's four grand. That's five grand. This 34 four-door is three grand. And that one up the back there is a turbo with low kilometers and that's about 11 grand. So the prices here are so fair. Like actually, I don't even see some of these cars selling at auction this cheap anymore. So that is amazing. Look, look at like, okay, this is, this is crazy. Two and a half grand, two grand for another Bayside Blue, two and a half grand for this one. This is epic. Yeah, this, this red one's kind of nice too. Four door, turbo. Let's uh, lift up the plastic a bit. Ooh, that red is nice. Yeah, the interior is immaculate. Series two by the looks of it too. Very cool. Sunroof too, hell yeah. So obviously if you guys want a 34 before the prices are ridiculously stupid and you don't want to get ripped off by anyone else selling these here in Japan right now and you don't mind paying storage, then uh, you definitely need to hit up Trust Kikaku. I mean, I'm even thinking about hitting up Trust Kikaku and I live in Japan, that's ridiculous. So I was just talking with Hannah and I was asking her like, you know, what, how much would it cost for one of you guys to be able to store a car here? Hannah, why don't you tell me what, what the kind of services there are? The 5,000 and yeah. we have more option on okay. how they want to storage or they would like to put insurance. And so let me just stop you there. That's 5,000 yen, not US dollars, right? Not US, yeah. the Japanese yen. So that's only 50 bucks, <laughs> $50 a month to store your dream car yeah. at Trust Kikaku. Mm. And obviously there's more options and stuff like that, yeah. like insurance and, and things like that. Um, more like coverage. Yeah, with more like inside mm. with special covers and mm. things like that. And obviously insurance is awesome because if there's a natural disaster or like a flood or something yeah. like that, the car's completely covered at market mm. value. And that's really good for the customers. Like, uh, I guess, what do they call it? Peace of mind, I Peace think is the right, yeah. yeah. So we're upstairs now. And this is kind of um, an empty hallway. And I see boxes with Nismo logos at the end. What's this say? 
I can't read that. For events, and this is for girls' dressing room. Girls' dressing room. Okay, <laughs> I definitely want to go in there. This is better than a girls' dressing room. <laughs> you guys, this, it's literally cram packed to the roof of Nismo LM GT4 wheels. Eh. Uh, I forgot to mention this at the start of the video actually, but make sure you watch till the end because these guys are doing something really awesome for you and giving you a coupon code so that you guys can get a discount on some of the parts and the things that we see here today. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out for that at the end of the video. Another room with boxes and a bunch of Nissan factory part numbers. R34 GTR. Eh, bonnet de disca. Bonnet. Brand new bonnet for an R34 GTR. And look at all the stock that they have. That's so good. There's like a huge waiting list for a bunch of these parts. Some of these parts don't even exist anymore and are all discontinued. Lid, ah, trunk. This is uh, like a trunk or a boot lid for a 34 GTR. And then these over here look like probably fenders. Yeah, R34 GTR fender. Ah, これは rear fender ですか Front and fender. fender. Okay. So front fenders. That's cool. So if any of you guys get into a little bingo and you just need to replace a fender, these guys got you. Rear bumper. Rear bumper. 34 GTR rear bumpers. Something R32 here. Front fender. Ah, front fenders for a 32 GTR. There you go. Nismo fender kit. R34Z tune. That's so cool. I've always wanted one of those on uh, my future 34. That's cool. Cool to know you guys have stock. And then over here, Z tune bumper. R34 GTR. That's so cool. There you guys go. Nismo Genuine Parts bumper front. This is, oh my gosh, there's so much money here. <laughs> Stuff like that. And then this one here is 34 fenders again, but oh no, rear fender. Rear fender. Ah, that's so good because that means if anyone cra like I mean it sucks to talk about this but sometimes people crash into our cars and we want to revive the chassis if it's not too bad and the chassis rails aren't damaged to be able to get GTR genuine rear fenders is awesome because then you can save the car right and they also have R32 GTR rear fenders so you can also save your 32 GTR in the states and stuff as long as the chassis rails aren't bent or anything like that but hot oh, damn that is awesome And some more Z-Tune parts and things like that. That's so cool. All right. I'm scared. What else do you guys have in this building? We have more new parts. More new parts? Okay, let's, let's keep the adventure going, guys. And more boxes of Nissan OEM parts in this one. Uh, GTR 32 finish rear pillar. Ah, this is like oh, the, the seal and stuff yeah. for the, the weather stripping the and stuff. Trim. The trim, yeah, the for the rear, rear quarter glass. Yeah. Rear pillar. Mm. Oh man, there's so many people that will want this because they're respraying all their cars and want to replace all the seals. And uh, is this heritage or discontinued? It's not discontinued. It's not discontinued. So Nissan still makes these, but you guys have everything in stock. So if anyone needs this, they can just get it straight away shipped to them yes. in the States. Yeah. That's good. Cool. Okay. I think I just found some engine blocks because I remember um, when we had a customer in Australia that ordered one of these, it came like this. Let's see. N1 24U GTR block. So this is R34 GTR engine block, right? There is a huge waiting list for this right now. And you guys have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven just sitting on the floor in stock. <laughs> Do you ship these to the States? Can you yeah, ship them? We can ship it by like FedEx or DHL. Wow. There you guys go. If you're hunting around for an N1 block, these guys got you sorted. This is so good. <laughs> Like, I know there's a huge waiting list of like, like a year right now for N1 blocks and you guys have them in stock. Okay, so if you That's... thought N1 engine blocks were epic, it gets better right behind me here with two boxes and R34 GTR get track transmissions, the six speed, just chilling in the box, completely brand new and in stock as well. Literally 34 engine block, 34 transmission, two of the most sought after parts for anyone into GTRs. That is awesome. You guys have so much stock. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> Just look at all these 34s here. And we're now heading into the second building. And if it's anything like what this one was, it's gonna be good. And I'm a bit worried because it means that this video is probably gonna be like 40 minutes long, but <laughs> I'm sure you guys are gonna watch it and enjoy it just as much as the other one. 
Let's go. Wait, what? I'm so pumped because literally scuba circuits right around there. So I'm just gonna tell everyone to smash into my door and drive straight here after drifting and just get another one. This is epic. Now these, these don't look like they're all Skylines though. Like I think some of these are Subaru. Yeah, I can see an SDI logo there. So I just got Hannah to check and there are doors here for Skylines, Evos, um, Lancers. Yeah, said that. GTRs, Subarus, so many different doors. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Zimbu bumper this car. Zimbu bumper. These, they're all bumpers, guys. Some door cards and things like that, and seats. Looks like some Subarus and some Skylines, but just look at them all. How many bumpers do you think are here? Like around 400 to 500. It looks like way more. more. So these are all, they look like um, Z bumpers. Yeah, Z bumpers. So like 350Zs and 370Zs. Okay, that's actually really good. I wonder. I, I don't know what uh, the Zs came out with bumper-wise in the States, but I'm assuming there was like a JDM model and a USDM model. So if any of you guys are after a JDM bumper for your Z, these guys got it front and rear. And just about every factory color too, the silver, the gunmetal, the white. So we're now done with these two warehouses and I think we're gonna go back to the main warehouse at Trusky Kaku now, right? And check out some other things that you got there, maybe some new cars that just rolled in. Um, but this place is, you guys, Oh man, you have everything <laughs> anyone could ever want as like a Skyline person, you know, like a Skyline fan, like someone who owns a GTR or wants to get a 34 Skyline and your prices are good. <laughs> like borderline crazy good. Really? Yeah. I also just noticed this is a V-Spec 2 Nur. I can't believe I didn't pick up on that with the interior. No, oh, of course, that's why it's got the, the little vent. Oh boy. Yeah, this is genuine V-Spec, no. Yep. It's got the, uh, what is this called? Like silica breath or dragon's breath or something. I can't remember the, the paint code name for this, but that is so cool. Sugoikire. It still has all of the original zinc coating on everything. This is a very nice condition GTR. So we're now back at Trust Kikaku headquarters and uh, they've brought out some rare secondhand parts that they want me to show you guys. Um, first of all, you guys should all know what this is. Now this came directly from the Nismo and Woody factory secondhand off one of their built cars. Um, obviously titanium for the 34 GTR comes with the special covers and stuff that, so that the paint doesn't get damaged and everything. Um, and these, if you're a crazy Skyline fanatic, you may know that Nissan offered these as an option from the factory when you got your GTR. Um, so these are genuine, um, made in Japan and were a factory option that they kind of threw on the car for you. And if we pull this tag out, we can actually see all the information on the back there, as you can see, made in Japan, which is pretty cool. So I didn't know that actually until these guys told me, but that's pretty cool, seat belt covers. And then obviously this is supposed to be a secondhand dash. This thing looks amazing. No bubble marks or anything in the usual spots on the 32s. No issues with the vents or anything. This is very nice. Good option to replace for any, anyone who's got a 32 GTR with a damaged dash. Now this thing is also really cool. Um, this was a Nismo option that you could add to your Skyline for an intercool event. And as you can see, old school Nismo logo. Uh, GTR Sunny this car. Sunny. So this is for a 32 GTR. Really cool fiberglass part, and I love the fact that it's got the old Nismo logo there. So you, this is just a tiny bit of the rare, like the rare category, like, you know, the hard to find and really unique stuff that you can get secondhand that these guys have in this huge warehouse here. So um, we're gonna actually now um, go upstairs into the office and Hanachan is gonna show us how one of you guys would actually be able to purchase any type of rare part and stuff like that. So let's uh, head upstairs and go do that now. Yeah. Don't forget guys, if you do ever visit, 
no shoes upstairs. Also, if you do want to visit, you cannot just rock up here. Isn't that right, Hannah? You have to make an appointment. Appointment, yeah. Very important. And they're closed on Mondays, so don't even try. <laughs> um, but yes, this is the office and uh, let's go find out how to get some cool parts. So we're just chilling in the office now. One of the girls brought me a nice iced coffee, which uh, so pretty much just living it up. These guys are epic. Um, but Hanachan is just showing me like how to navigate and get parts and things like that uh, through Trust Kikaku. And we want to show you guys like what's the best method. Now, uh, the first thing I think we both were saying is we'd recommend follow the Facebook page. Um, that's probably the best mm. recommendation because every day you're posting yeah, parts, we right? Yeah, upload our new part, listed parts in the auction. Mm. So it's more easy if you follow our Facebook to check our user. Yeah, and every day if, uh, if you like click on this, uh, this uh, K20A engine, you can see there's a price, a bit of information on it, and then there's also a link here. And if you click on that link, it takes you directly to the Yahoo Auction listing. Would you say pretty much all of your listings are on Yahoo Auction? Yeah, or all of our used yep. cars are listed on Yahoo okay, Auction. Okay, so anything used that you guys want, Yahoo Auctions is where you want to go. Now, um, don't freak out. If you know Yahoo Auctions, you know it's all Japanese. But the best thing is, do you want to scroll down? Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. They include English on all of their listings for you guys. There you go. So the description is also in Japanese and English um, and another thing as well is once you're on this page right obviously if you don't have a Yahoo Auctions account obviously that's preferred but obviously if you're a foreigner it's difficult to have a Yahoo Auctions account if you don't know Japanese what you can do is um, you can either send them this link here or at the top you'll see the product item with this number here if you send them a message on Facebook with that number or the link to the Yahoo Auction as long as there's no bids on the item. See, this says zero right now, so no one's bidded on it. Then you can purchase that at the buy now price and they'll organize to get it shipped yeah. to you and do everything kind of through Facebook mm -hmm. and PayPal oh. and things like mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah. Which is awesome. So don't freak out guys, they have English for everything. And uh, another really cool thing actually is even if you don't know any Japanese to search or anything like that, you don't need to. Because once you're on one of Trust Kikaku's pages, you can click on whatever model car you have here, whether it's Skyline, EK9 Civic, and they do have the Japanese, but also the English models there. And if you were to click, say, oh, let's obviously click on 34 Skyline okay. or GTR, there we go. Straight. straight to all the BNR34, the model of the R34 GTR, and all the secondhand parts that Trust Kikaku have available. And you can just browse through here. But be careful though, because um, you know if you start browsing through this, it's probably going to be six hours later before you're like, "Oops, I've been sitting here for six hours. I need to go to bed." I get caught up all the time looking at parts. Um, so yeah, everything's here, super easy to find. And once again, once you find something just message them on Facebook with that number or the link mm. and uh, they'll sell it to you for the buy now price and get it shipped to you as soon as possible. Yeah. Is there anything else like that, like it seems so simple, so I was just wondering is there anything else that they need to know or? Mm, yeah, it's really simple and if they want to search like engine, they can just type in this little mm. like search bar. Mm. Like RB26. and then it comes up with like yeah, all the engines engine. and listings mm. and parts and things like that. Yeah, from RV26. Awesome. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good price. I was only like four and a half grand for that RV26. <laughs> good stuff. All right, cool. Well, thank you very much, Hannah. You. You've been amazing as usual. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about the comment section in the last video? <laughs> I'm sure everyone's dying to know what you thought. I was just surprised. Just surprised? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm are you, so shy. Are you a little bit confident now? A little bit more confident? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I thought at first maybe you cut your hair to hide from everyone so yeah, they didn't recognize you. Yeah, they didn't recognize me. <laughs> All right, so we're wrapping up here now at uh, Trust Kikaku, and uh, Mikun gave me this really cool GTR video magazine thing, and actually a lot of the GTRs in it on the back here and in the video are all of his. So that was, I don't know if he's flexing on me or what. I mean, obviously just being at his company here is a massive flex on me, but this place is so cool. And uh, we're definitely gonna be back. There's a lot more that they haven't shown us yet. I know that seems so like unbelievable, but these guys have another warehouse and even more and more and more. And, I, and if you guys follow them on social media, I'm sure you know that like they're getting so many more cars in every, every single day. So um, there's definitely gonna be a lot of epic content coming. But um, 
one thing that you've probably been waiting for is that coupon code. So what we've organized is that for the LM GT4 wheels, for any of you guys that want those wheels for your Skyline, they're gonna be doing 10% off, which is actually a pretty decent amount considering the price of those wheels. Um, and there's only gonna be two sets available for that discounted price. All you need to do is there's gonna be some contact information in the description for their email address. Send them the email, tell them you watched the video, and the first two people that get in get 10% off on a fresh set of LM GT4 wheels for your GTR Skyline or, or whatever other Nissan or car that you want to put them on. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to put those on a Supra, but if you want to do that, you can do that and get 10% off. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comment section what you thought. Tell me what you thought of Hannah too, because uh, she's awesome. Honestly, she's she's uh, the best tour guide at Trust Kikaku. I mean, I don't think there's anyone else. But... <laughs> um, if you guys ever do end up visiting and organizing to uh, you know get a tour or visit Trust Kikaku, Kaku, I'm sure you'll get to meet her and uh, she's pretty cool too. And with that, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Jamata.